This is a quick movie on how to use the multi-dimensional acquire window for Metamorph. Um, the multi-dimensional acquire window allows us to set up to do any number of operation for acquisition. Um, if we look at the main tab here, I've got options to control time lapse, stage positions, multiple wavelengths, Z series, to perform streaming operations and to run journals at specific points. Um, at any stage I can press time lapse and I can see that now I actually add a tab for that. So let's just look at how we would control the camera first of all and how to take one or two images. So first of all the first tab as I move downwards is saving. Where am I going to save that image to? So we actually have a directory and we can say select directory and you can see here I've just created a folder by pressing U called test images. Now in here I put a base name and that says test01. So every time I do an experiment or do anything, it's going to save as test01. Now importantly, some of the file formats have changed in Metamorph over time. So an important thing to do if you want to use it with other software programs is to go to Edit and Preferences and go to Save Under, Save Image Using Legacy Format, the SDK format. That makes life a lot easier when you want to import it into other packages like Autoquant, for example. Okay, so uh, now what we're going to do is we're just going to look at how to control the camera. And this is all done at the Wavelength tab. Here I can control uh, the actual illumination. So I was set up previously some illumination settings. So I've got Dappy, Fitzy, and Texas Red. I can also set up my exposure time. So I'm just going to say I want to use a 10 millisecond exposure time. And now I want no auto expose, no auto focus. So, how do I look at this image? Well, down at the bottom is this bottom live. And if we look at the button live, I've now got my image up, and I can just show you that that's live by moving backwards and forwards through focus. There we are, a bit too far. There we are. Um, so, I'm now completely live. So, I can actually come in here and I can say I, I want to do 20 millisecond exposure. And you can see my histogram grows and my image grows in intensity. If I just want to take a quick picture to make sure it's live and it's good, uh, and I don't want to keep bleaching my sample, I can just press this button here, snap. Okay, I press it quite a few times there, but every time I take that button, okay, I actually take a new image. So if I change it, let's just put it on to Fitzy, and maybe let's use a much lower exposure time, 10 milliseconds, and press snap. That image changes, so I don't have a second window. So that's only a preview to go and have a look to control the shutter, um, to allow me to see what's going on without bleaching my sample too much. So let's close that one and let's have a look at how I would actually save that picture for good all time. So if we go to live I get my picture up, it's actually the buttons over here that are acquire. If I hit acquire, that actually saves that image to that particular folder so I can go and get it later on. So it's pre-saved, it's pretty nice. Okay, so let's combine this. Let's try and do uh, a multiple channel experiment. If I click multiple wavelengths, you can see my tab grows. So under wavelength, I now have two tabs, W1 and W2. If I go back to wavelengths tab where I was previously controlling the camera, we can see it doesn't have any of that information anymore. It simply says how many wavelengths. So I can say in here, and I can keep on growing. So I've got like five wavelengths here, but in reality, let's just do two channels. So I pick my first one, and I say, you're going to be dappy, and you're going to have an exposure time of five milliseconds. And I'm going to pick my second one and say, you're going to be Fitzy, and you're going to have an exposure time of 15 milliseconds. Okay. So I can now say snap, and I get one picture, which is of the Fitzy. But if I wanted to take both, I would press the acquire. Okay. And that's both saved. You can have a look at actually uh, the summary to actually see what you're going to do before you press that acquire button. And you can see here we've got wavelength one, illuminations courses, DAPI. The exposure is 5 milliseconds and the autofocus is off. Uh, and the same in wavelength 2, and it tells you how big it's going to be and the description of the type of experiment. Okay. Uh, in the next movie, we're going to look at how to combine that with time lapse and with Z sequences. I hope this is helping. Uh, if you need any more information, please contact us directly at Photometrics UK or uh, call your local Metamorph agency. Okay, thanks very much.